Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I've recently started a very interesting project. Uh, I wanted to print a 3D airplane and I came across this design on GrabCAD. Let me show you. So this is GrabCAD where you can download 3D models and I came across the Mini Talon by XUAV. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but this is a very, very popular FPV airplane uh, developed by a company called XUAV. And I found it here on GrabCAD. Uh, it's an IGS file. You can basically open it using Fusion 360. I, I did that some time ago, so I don't remember if you can open IGS or if I used a tool to convert it to a different format, then opened it using Fusion 360. But basically, the design for the XUV is there on GrabCAD, and I've downloaded it, and I've opened it with Fusion 360, and you can see the airplane here. So I thought, why not try and 3D print it? It's going to be a very interesting 3D print project for the winter. I live in Canada, so now it's it's winter and it's going to start to snow very soon. So most probably if I complete this project, it's not going to fly until next, maybe May. Now, let me give you a, let me basically make a couple of statements or give you some information around this design. So in no way, this design is ready to be 3d printed for those of you that know fusion 360, this design is nothing but a group of surfaces. You know, if you take this and you try to 3D print it, you will not be able, you will not succeed. You will have to take it, modify it, cut it, slice it, you know, uh, do whatever you can to make it 3D printable, to make it an object that is 3D printable. So, so what I've done till now is I've taken it part by part and started working on it to see if I can basically transform it into an object or a model, a 3D model that can be 3D printed. So I've started working with the wing, the right wing. So I've copied the wing into a separate file that I'll just show you here. And I was able to successfully convert it from a group of surfaces into a, an actual 3D object to be printed. Now, in no way I'm an expert in Fusion 360, but I'm learning as I go. I started with a very basic knowledge, then I built up my knowledge as I was working on this through Google, through YouTube. So as you can see, I've converted the right wing from a group of surfaces into an actual object to be printed, and I even sliced it into four different uh, bodies so that it would fit in my printer. Each section is around 150 centimeter long or high. Furthermore, uh, if you want to print this, you need to support it from the inside. You need to support the wing from the inside. So I went ahead and created supports from the inside and I'll show you right now. I'm going to go into inspect section analysis. And as you can see, I've created three lines of support to go along the length of the wing, all the four sections actually. So you can see those three lines of support that basically help to reinforce the wing and make it, you know, uh, rigid, a little bit rigid during flying. What I've also done is, let me again go into section analysis. Again, for those that know Fusion 360, I after I made the wing or transformed it into an object, I hollowed it. I used this command, which is shell, to make it empty from the inside. And when I did that, I made sure that the thickness of the wall is 0.45 millimeter. So when it's 3D printed, this would be basically nothing but one line or one wall of print. I've also done something here with the wing. Now, a lot of when people print wings, uh, at this point where the support meets the wing, you will see a line from the outside. 
because when the printer is attempting to print the wing it doesn't print this perimeter that I'm going through now in one go it basically prints a section of it then it prints the support then prints another section which creates lines on the outside that are very visible and annoying so I've done something very smart here is when I've created those supports I've left a very very small gap between the support and the wing let me show you you see this gap between the wing and the support this gap is I think I'm just trying to remember maybe 0 0.1 of a millimeter on top and at the bottom here you can see the gap very clearly so that when it's 3d printed the printer will basically print the perimeter as a whole in one go then it would print the supports and it will print also the spar holes so that the perimeter is continuous and complete and you won't see those annoying you know lines on the outside of the wing so this is the wing i've already printed that out on my 3d printer i'll show that to you and my next step of course now i can simply create a symmetrical copy of this and i will have my left wing but i'm not going to do that now because I've successfully printed this wing and I'll show it to you shortly. Now I'm going to start working on the fuselage and let me show you the work that I've done till now. This is the right fuselage. I've actually just started working on it and again it's not ready. Uh, I still have a lot of work to do and I would like this to be, I don't know, if possible, a community project. So everybody that is interested in 3D printing might chip in and help me out if I hit an obstacle. So now, again, the, 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 the wing was successfully printed. Now I'm attempting to basically work on the fuselage, modify it, make it 3D printable. So if I hit an, if I hit an obstacle, I would appreciate that the community would help me out. I'll post a video around that obstacle. And then uh, if the community knows how to solve it and they would help me out, I would really appreciate that uh, what I'll be doing is I'm going to be posting a series of videos this is just the first video in every video I'm going to show you the progress that I'm doing and whether I need any help or if I've hit any obstacles that I need your help with I would appreciate all your comments all your feedback in the comments section uh, now I'm going to basically show you the video of the fully printed wing along with how much it weighs with the electronics uh, and before I do that, you know, uh, if you like this video, if you've liked this video, please do click on like and subscribe. And, you know, that would help me a lot and that would help this channel a lot. I would appreciate that. Uh, one final note before we move to the wing video. So now it's around November in Canada and it's going to snow very soon. So again, most probably I'm not going to finish this until may next year because then the weather would be good enough for me to fly it. so let's go ahead and look at the wing as you can see this is the fully printed wing as you saw in fusion 360 it's made up of four different sections i've glued them together and i've even installed i printed and installed the aileron even the servo horn is 3D printed. I've also mounted the servo as you can see here. And I routed the cable all the way to this side. I'm really happy with how this wing printed. Now we're gonna weigh the wing to see what's the weight of the wing with the servo. So that's around 188, 189 grams, which is really good. It's not heavy. If anybody's interested, this is my 3D printer. It's the heavily modified Anycubic Mega S. 
as you can see I've modified uh, the hot end and the extruder so I'm using an EV6 version 6 hot end and I'm using a direct extruder instead of a Bowden extruder and I've put uh, the spool holder on top it makes it much better to print you know material because you can have way better control over retraction and insertion and also it makes it much more better it makes it much more efficient to print TPU I'm really happy with this printer and with the way it prints after the modification I'm thinking now of getting uh, a new printer that has a direct drive and a bigger print plate so thank you guys uh, again this is just the first video I'll keep you updated with my progress I'll post more videos and I would appreciate your feedback please leave any comments you know uh, any feedback in the comments section uh, and if you like this video please click on like and subscribe thank you very much and have a lovely day bye bye